Welcome, judges, to this SAGE business competition. My name is Abe Bailey. Thank you for agreeing to serve as a judge at this SAGE event. Today, each SAGE team of teen entrepreneurs will present the results of their business. The team that you select as the most effective in meeting all five of the judging criteria will advance to the next level of competition. We're looking to see which teams were the most successful at meeting each of the criteria and making a positive impact on their community. At the start of the judges' briefing, the SAGE staff will provide you with a judging packet. This packet contains all the tools you'll need to be an effective judge. On the left-hand side of the packet, you'll find a colorful judges scoring rubric. You will receive one rubric for each team competing in your assigned league. You will also find a blue team evaluation sheet. On the right side, there is a yellow cumulative scoring sheet, a judge's oath, and a 2019 Sage World Cup judges survey. Let's first look at the scoring rubric. You'll note that there are five criteria. Each criterion is worth a total of 20 points. Let's start with the first criterion, which is creativity and innovation. There are four evaluation categories here. Be careful to note that each category is worth five points, totaling 20 points. To help you judge the rubric, provides a detailed description of how to rate the team on a scale of zero points to five points. For example, the first category is the business model. If the team is highly successful at creating something new or improving something that already exists, you would score it a four or five. On the other hand, if the team was not successful at this or did not address it at all, you would give them a one or zero. Please familiarize yourself with the other three categories. The second criterion is social impact. Here there are only three evaluation categories, starting with sustainable business practices and ending with sustainable development goals. Be careful to note, though, that sustainable business practices is worth 10 points. The other two categories, measuring results of impact and addressing the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, are worth five points each. Again, this criterion is worth a total of 20 points. The third criterion is business operations. As with the first criterion, there are four evaluation categories here, with each category worth five points. The fourth criterion is likelihood that the business will continue. Once again, there are four evaluation categories, each category worth five points. The categories are succession planning, teamwork, market viability, and ethics and integrity. The last criterion is overall presentation, which includes the written annual report, the oral presentation, and response to questions and answers. Note that the written report is worth seven points, the oral presentation is worth five points, and the Q&A period is worth eight points. You will be judging several teams today. You will be assigned to a league. The league will consist of at least two SAGE teams. The team rated the highest will advance to the next round of competition. Each league will be assigned a SAGE coordinator. The coordinator will introduce the teams. After all the teams have presented, the coordinator will collect the yellow ballots. Please don't share your voting results with other judges. It bears repeating that your rating should be yours alone and should not include input from peer judges. Here's what will happen during each presentation today. Each team is given a 35-minute block in the competition, which will be broken into 10 minutes for judging the annual report, 13 minutes 
for oral presentation, seven minutes for the Q&A, and the last five minutes for your final scoring. The overall scoring for each team is based on how well it met each of the judging criteria as presented in the written annual report and oral presentation. Teams must present a written annual report that is limited to a maximum of four printed pages. The report is presented to judges immediately after the team is introduced. Judges have 10 minutes to review and score the report. Teams can earn a total of seven points for the annual report. You should note that the team may include, at its option, some examples of media received for their business, including newspaper and magazine articles. Next, the team will give a 13-minute oral presentation. Teams may use any type of visual to make its presentation. The oral presentation counts for five points maximum. During the oral presentation, judges should assign a numeric value to the team on the yellow ballot, or what we call the cumulative score sheet. Teams must finish the oral presentation in 13 minutes, and the unused presentation time will roll over to the Q&A period. The next eight minutes will be the Q&A session, which counts for a total of eight points. Judges will be looking for four things in the Q&A. A, platform skills and stage presence. B, articulating their knowledge of the business. C, a balance of information shared among the presentation teams. And D, congruency of answers with the information shared in their annual report and oral presentation. It is an essential part of the team presentation that judges ask relevant, concise questions. A couple of questions could be, how did you select your business? Why did you get involved with SAGE, etc., etc.? After the Q&A period has ended, you will have five minutes to complete the scoring of the oral presentation and the Q&A. Your final tally is based on a 100-point maximum. After assigning point values to each criterion for each team on the judge's scoring rubric, you should add up all the points and assign a numerical value ranging from 1 to 100 at the bottom of the yellow cumulative score sheet. The team with the highest number of points will be your number one team and so on. There can be no ties. If you have two teams rated the same, you should reevaluate your scores. Ballots with ties will not be counted. Now that you know what a SAGE presentation consists of, let's review the final judging process. After a SAGE team has made its presentation and you have tallied the totals, we urge you to write any additional comments on the individual team evaluation sheet. This is the blue sheet of paper. We urge you to make a few comments for each team. The feedback you provide is of great value to the team. The SAGE competition is about selecting teams that were most effective in meeting all of the judging criteria. It's not about which team made the best presentation or made the most profit. Teams must create and implement businesses that satisfy as many of the judging criteria as possible. Before you leave today, we ask that you complete two more things. First, please sign and date the SAGE judging oath. Second, complete the Green Sage Judges Survey and return both of these to the Sage League Coordinator before you leave. We thank you for your generosity and giving of your time and attention to this Sage event. Again, we thank you.